Let's have a close up look of the drills. Hello, hello, this is Alice. If you are new to my channel, welcome. And you've been with me for a while. Welcome back. And you would know that since my glamping and painting video, I gave out 300 subscribers giveaways. And last one in my video where I do the sparklers and review my finishes, I draw the winners. So all the prizes have been packaged up and shipped away and they're on their way to you. Congratulations. And since then, a lot more has happened. Diamond Art Club has had 125 releases over Black Friday and Cyber Monday. Some of those sales are really, really successful and popular. So some of them are already sold out and Diamond Art Club staff got really overwhelmed. As you can see, the warehouse staff working really hard here. If you haven't got your order yet, I hope you'll stay patient. And in the meantime, let's see what I've got. Although, please don't forget, as I would remind you last time, turn on the 4K resolution on your video if your devices allow, so that you can see all these canvases in all of their glories. All right. This is Animal Mystery. This is Janessa. This is Prime Rose. Prime Rose? This is a Hannah Lynn T Rose Fairy. Janessa was also a Hannah Lynn. This is Ellie Mae BU. And this is Springtime Splendor. All right, it's empty. So these are the ones I got. My favorite is these two and Janessa because I just really like this purple castle. Usually I'm not even much of a Randall Splangler, Splangler fan. Um, I really like his draglings, but they're just a little too adorable to be hanging on my wall. But when he made a castle, I think it was Enchanted Evening. I really, really like the castle, but it's just something else that I'm hoping for that I didn't get it. But then when I saw this release for Black Friday, I immediately was like, okay, now that's a purple castle. I have to get it. In Prime Rose, this is another one of Alphonse Mucha. I also got the first Alphonse Mucha Diamond Art Club release, which was Zodiac. And I think this is a good pairing with it. And I'm pretty excited about it because I might work on this one during the Summer with Master 2023 event. Yes, we're already talking about 2023 because you know, it's already December and 2023 is not that far anymore. And um, I haven't decided whether to work on Zodiac or this one, but I think I'm leaning towards this one already. So putting these aside, because there's already an unboxing on YouTube for Janessa, and these ones, I'm just not 100% sure I'm gonna work on them as soon as I would on these ones, so I'm not gonna peel off the plastic for a little while. But when I do get to them, I'll make sure to unbox them. So, Here's what I got. Let's get into the two that I said I want box. Here's the tool kit. Oh my god! It's a little ceramic piggy. That's cute. That's really cute. It's like a popsicle. That's really funny. And this is the washi tape. Hearts. It's kind of like Valentine's Day special. Mm, maybe I use that to wrap the next Valentine's gift. And here is the sticker. All right, on to the canvas and the diamonds. Look at this signature Alphonse Mucha logo. I'm actually not sure what the rules are around um, Old Masters work, but they have a really special logo they had on um, Zodiac as well. Whoa. Here is the stickers. They have 45 colors. 
and there is four AVs because anything under 150, as you guys know, are the AV drills. So it seems pretty colorful. So they even have these stickers here for the kit that these drills correspond to. So if you store the drills separately, you would not lose track of what canvas this bag is for. a close-up look of the drills. So this is very classic of Alphonse Lucas artwork. A lot of pastel nude shades. Well, there is definitely a lot of uh, 3856. And a lot of 951 and here's the 938, 352, 738, 398, 898, 300, two bags of 364, uh, 3364. So that's one row. I think they're sorted by weight. So when I kit up, I'll definitely kit these up first into the max trays. Six ten, three three seven one, two bags. Nine four five, two bags of three three six three, two bags of four oh two. 927, 3362, 611, 351, 3853, 3011, 977, oh, 105. This is the first AB. It's kind of a brownish AB. We'll find out where it goes. 370, 3829, 407, 713, 371, 928, 107 is our second AB. It's a red AB with these iridescent coatings. 400, 503, 976, 3776, 498, 3012, 100. Oh, this is a green AB. I don't think I've seen this AB before. I've only seen like a dark green AB before in the witch painting, for example. So this is new to me. 720, 131, so that's another AB, it's a yellow orange AB. It's orange AB. 741, 453, 3078, 321, 452, 436, 3843. So that's all the colors we have. Let me pull out all the ABs so that we know when we're looking at them. So, first AB is 100, so that's the lighter green that I said I've never seen as an AB. This one. Most of the ABs for this light green is up here. That's interesting. So a lot of the ABs for the light one is here with the symbol one. Hmm, that's an interesting choice. I would expect to highlight some of her hair, but we'll see how it looks when it's done. And then the second AB is 105 with the number two. Oh, 
Okay, there's some here. My drawers are just falling onto the ground. But here's some number two over here. Some of them over here. And then some of it in her hair. This is like a hair piece that she wears. This is the hair piece that she wears that has some uh, ABs. It's actually, oh, and also a little bit here in this uh, part of the hair. I guess it's kind of like a highlight. Anywhere else? There's some more here. Oh, there's a little bit here, but it's very sprinkled ish. Okay, there's some more down here in her in her dress as well. Some over here. But yeah, if you turn on the 4K resolution, you could probably see this canvas very well yourself as well so that you can figure out where they are. So it's sort of just sprinkled all over in her dress and in her hair. It's and then that is, let me find the color, it's 105. Oh, here, I finally found it. So it's this color, sprinkle all over her dress and her hair. All right, let's move on to the third AB. It's a red AB. So it's this one, 107. This one is not as hard to find because red really stands out on this painting. So this is definitely one patch and all of these, red here and here. And all of these in the bouquet that she is holding, like this bouquet over here. And some of it here, which is also the other bouquet of flower near her. And a bit here. So red mostly in the flowers they got this highlight with the red ab and actually a little bit at the top here as well in these decorative border all right the last one is 131 a yellow ab Oh, it's the orange-ish AB, right. So it's this one. That's also relatively easy to find because it really stands out. It's this here piece over here. And then only a little bit in the bouquet over here. So this AB is not used a lot. It's mainly in this bouquet area and in her hair piece. Hmm, looking at this, I might do quite a bit of, um, you know, sparkling her up when I work on her because I definitely want her hair piece over here stand out maybe some more. And this hair crown as well. Look at this one. If I was a girl wearing a hair band, I definitely wanted to bling a lot and some of the flowers. I'll have to see how I feel when I work on them. But my feeling is I'll work on all these color blocking in the border. As a start, probably some of her dress because that's a little bit of a color blocking as well. Her skin, definitely color blocking. And then these detail areas because they're kind of confetti. You can think of them kind of confetti. That's when I will probably pull out a lot of my sparklers and whatnot to think about how I will bling her up. All right. As the name of the painting goes, Primrose, it really has that feeling of flowery, gentle. That's the vibe I got the painting and I really like it. All right, let me clean these up and then we'll get into the purple castle. So here is the sticker, Springtime Splendor by Randall Spangler. Ooh, I already like this colorful here. 
there's a tree of the cherry blossom and here's a random guy at the door. I mean, I don't fully know if there's a storyline behind Randall Splangler's series. Another pink tree that I really like. I think this will definitely qualify as a spring painting, doesn't it? That is pretty. That's why I bought it. Got it? <laughs> Here's the sticker of all the colors it has. It has 60 colors and 4 ABs. These are the ABs. This is the fairy on the tree. And here's the moon behind the castle. This is gonna be a lot of fun to work on because I love, love all these purples and gold. All right, let's take a look at the drills. Here's a sticker of what kit these drills are for. Boy, oh boy, these purples really don't disappoint. I am in love. I feel like I say that about every kit because that's why I bought them. <laughs> Wow, 60 colors. Okay, it's gonna take a hot minute to go through. Let's just do it. Okay, A15, 642, Three seven nine zero nine three seven three hundred two bags of one oh eight. I'm already excited. Oh, it's all the number ones on the canvas. So all over here in the trees, all these light greens. They are all these light green ABs. They're all green ABs. They're all these colors. All of them. That's gonna be fun. In, in here. All the grass or bushes, little bushes, towards the, on the way towards the castle. All these light greens, they're all number one, the AB. And all the way over here. That's a lot of ABs, which I like. And... 336 Wait, that's also an AB, so that's the white AB. White AB. It's the number four. Okay, so some of these little sparkle here at the castle. Let me zoom in. So over here. These are the AB. What else? There's only so few of them, so I imagine it's not everywhere. A little bit at the top of this light. I'll probably make the whole thing glow with sparklers when I get to it, maybe. Some white AB on the hair of the sky at the door. A little bit in the entrance of the door. Not sure what this is, but at the foot of the person. A little bit in the bushes, a tiny bit, tiny bit. In these lights as well. In all of these lights. Well, some of these lights. Yeah, so here, here. And in some of the sparkles in here. Although these, because they look more like stars to me, I might replace them with sparklers. And then there are some in these sparkles around here, around the ferry, which I may or may not also replace with sparklers. All right, I got too excited over there. 115, which is another AB with a number two. I only see them in these bushes, this, these red little dots in the bushes here. Here, 
in these places. I don't see them anywhere else. Well, let me know in the comments if I missed anything. Yeah, they're mostly in the trees, the little red dots. All right, all right, come back. And then 3303, 4332, 935, 3855, 208, 443, 3733, 420, 644, 3731, 930. Well, we already saw three AB so far, so we just insert with the last AB. Oh, wait, I missed it. I totally missed it. It was the 119 in here. It's the purple AB, which is number three. So there are some here in the flowers. There are some here in the flowers, some in this flower. Actually not in this flower, mainly in this flower. And then a little bit in these flowers amongst the trees. A little bit. A little bit um, here as well. And then all over here, sprinkled in the castle's roof. And then of course, a lot of them in the wings of the fairy. There's a lot of these uh, purple ladies in here. This is probably a part that I'll definitely try to sparkle up a lot. All right, moving back. We basically already found all of the four ABs. So the rest of the colors are just plain drills. Nine, seven, seven, five, five, zero, seven, no, two. Double seven oh two, okay. Nine seven six one fifty eight. Oh, quite a two one fifty eight. And then seven nine two seven nine two three seven five five two of them. Two of th nine three eight three oh one. 3818898 Only two bags of 310, so it's mainly for some of the outlines. That's not too bad at all. 160. Oh, this color. It's like cornflowers. I like. And then this is the last band. Six four zero three eight four eight three eight four one three 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 two five seven three 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 three. That's a lot of threes. Three seven five zero one six one one six one two seven nine nine three seven eight two three one eight uh, eight oh nine seven hundred seven hundred seven ninety four two of them. All right, that's all the drills. All right, since I sort of went through the AB as I was going through the drills, because I got too excited, I saw the ABs and I just screamed and went into where they are. Just a recap. Number one is a green AB. It's in all these bushes here and there, all these top of the little leaves of the trees. All of these. A little bit 
here at the castle, a little bit here. So most of these trees at the top, they have some of the green ivy. And then number two is the red AB 115. So it's not a lot of them. There's only so many in the bag. It's mainly these red little dots in the bushes here, here, and in this person, I think, a little bit, these persons. So it's kind of like they're wearing, a, wearing some royal attire with some clean, clean red. And then the third AB is the purple AB. And it's in a lot of these, the top of these flowers. This one there, and then some of these ones here. Some of the ones in here, in here. And then there was um, a little bit at the top of the castle, over this area, each of the purple, or the purple AB. And a lot of them in the wings of the fairy here. And the last one is the one AB, uh, white AB 141. Last one is the white AB 141. Sprinkled here as the stars, I'm pretty sure, which I may replace with sparklers and all of these, which I imagine are just fairy dust, or maybe these are fairy dust as well, you know. The fairy is like, here's some magic to the castle. A little bit here. So now I'm a little bit more convinced that it's fairy dust because it came all the way from this fairy going to the castle, going to the trees, and a little bit here. So, yeah, there you have it, the purple castle. I hope I can hold on to it until a Sprangler event, or maybe I'll host one myself, but this definitely, definitely qualifies as a uh, spring canvas. So there you have it, I'm gonna roll this up as well. All right, so here are the two I unboxed today, Springtime Splendor by Randall Spangler and Primrose by Alphonse Mucha. Uh, I'm not going to unbox the rest because this video would just get way too long. However, here are the other four. So this one is Janessa and this one's Tea Rose Fairy, both by Hannah Lynn. I recently got into Hannah Lynn ever since I got Dahlia from Hobby Lobby. I don't know why. Uh, especially Janessa, I really like her because she's sitting on the moon here. There are some Shariyoki artwork that's also like the little girl sitting on the moon. That's really cute. But you know, Diamond Art Club has really, really good rendering for detailed artwork like this. So I'm definitely got this one for this very reason that I just want to have a picture of a girl sitting on the moon. And then this one is LMA BU. I'm not typically a huge fan of the series. I know why people like them, just not especially my style. But this particular one, I really like the message because you know, just be you. And um, that's why I got it. So the last one is Mystery Kids. It's animal themed. I definitely look at the image because I'm not the type who can buy an image completely blind. And I'm not gonna talk about why because that would be a spoiler, but I'm gonna put an image here. So if you don't wanna know, look away now, but you can keep the audio on. I'm gonna put the image here and I'm gonna count from three and it will be gone, okay? Image. Three, two, one, and it's gone. So yeah, if you know a bit of it about my heritage and background, you might know why I like this image. It's got a lot of positive meanings, and uh, that's why I got it. One day it's gonna definitely go onto my office wall. A little bit of a sneak peek upcoming on my channel, or a little bit of a spoiler. I also got this painting this weekend's release uh, because of the little Kirby hidden in the corner. This painting is a little special to me because when I moved away from Ontario, Canada to California, United States for work, I had to get rid of a giant Mumbo Pikachu that I've had for years. And I've been a little bit sad because it's kind of like my pet, even though it's not really a live pet, but it's been company for many years through ups and downs in life. It's where I would hug and seek comfort when I'm alone sometimes, sad about something. And um, ever since I had to get rid of it, I've been feeling a little bit void in my heart. But then when I saw this painting, I saw a little Kirby hidden in the corner. I had to have it. I feel like this is gonna make me feel all warm and fuzzy again. So when this one arrives, I'm definitely very excited. I'll definitely unbox it. I know there's already sneak peek, but I'm going to talk about how I plan on getting some extra sparkles in this painting. And you know, this is the Sparkle Up channel, sometimes. 
And uh, if you want to stay up to date to what kit I'm working on or just to see some pretty drill appreciation images before I make a full video about the kits I finish or working on because, you know, making videos takes a lot of time. Feel free to follow me on my Instagram. With that being said, I'll see you next time. Bye.